Hey guys, it's Am back with you with a new video. If you haven't heard yet, the PlayStation 4 is out now, and I'm here to talk about the console and what is the new features that this console has. I hope you guys enjoy it. Okay guys, so alongside the PlayStation 4, we now have the PlayStation 4 Pro, which has 4K and HDR compatibility, and also packs a 1TB hard drive, which is really good in my opinion, and it also has two times the speed of the old generation PlayStation 4 and has a new design also but in my opinion the new design is not a big thing like the Xbox One S had with the Xbox One and in the press conference Sony also mentioned that you don't need a 4K set in order to play the PlayStation 4 you just normal you normally plug in your PS4 Pro on your set and it will detect the best resolution for you and it will level it up on the game that you're playing and you will have the best resolution for your games to play. Sony also mentioned that games like Watch Dogs 2, Spider-Man, Farpoint, Battlefield 1, Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered will also have 4K and HDR support on the games but there's one thing that you should know that the ps4 pro does not have ultra hd settings and regardless of everything the xbox one s the slim version of the xbox one has this feature which is called ultra hd so in my opinion this really really sucks because ultra hd is a really good feature and it has uh, it gives you the really resolution the good resolution of every game that you play and unfortunately this is the PS4 Pro does not have it, it just makes me sad. So regardless of everything, if you have a 4K TV, so go ahead with the PS4 Pro. But regardless of everything, we all have been hearing about the PS4 Slim rumors and leaks and it's all true because Sony in the press conference announced it and the PS4 Slim, the slimmer version of the PlayStation 4 and the more energy efficient device or console will be announced or head into the store September 15th which is actually like a, a week from now on so that's really good I mean it's not shocking because we've all knew that it was coming and it's smaller and more energy efficient which is just it's just something not shocking for everyone and it is also said that players who have the PlayStation and the P PlayStation VR will also see a really big improvement in the VR set that they have with the PlayStation for, uh, Pro which is really good in my opinion because you will have uh, better resolution and frame rates with the VR if you have a PlayStation 4 Pro because it has HDR and 4K compatibility and it will help benefit the games that it's going to be compatible with the VR. And also another big feature of the PlayStation 4 Pro is the gameplay will have more crisps and double up the resolution frame rates which is really good in my opinion and there's another thing that really good for old console owners such as the PlayStation 4 generation a uh, firmware update will be out next week and it will have HDR compatibility with the PlayStation 4 that, which is really good like you have an update which allows you to um, have your console compatible with HDR which is like the feature of the PlayStation 4 Pro it's gonna be available on the PlayStation 4 with the firmware update so that's a big hit and a big thumbs up for our users that has the PlayStation 4. So yeah guys, that's probably all. If you have any other news or things that I missed in this video, be sure to comment because I will be happy to read it. And thank you guys for watching and subscribe for more news or videos like this. I'll have weekly videos about them. I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, peace out.